Dr. Z here and I just wanted to talk about something that's really important for times right now when it's really stressful and we're dealing with war and we're you know still coming out of and yet in a pandemic and how it's impacting you and your patients and your practice and what you need to do and my number one message for you is don't become your patient and I just think this is so important and the first time I like heard this it sort of you know hit me like a punch in the face so if you're feeling that that's okay like just take it take the challenge all right so don't become your patient so I'll just tell you for me personally I looked at it like where had I become my patient I was like stepping up for my patients for my team for all the practitioners I train around the world still teaching classes all of these things but where had I like dropped the ball or needed to pivot or something like that? Some of it was self-care, right? And I was just talking to some friends and some patients about this, that I love being the health detective and it's something I do so well, just like all of you. And honestly, the skills get so much better year after year, month after month, day after day. And like, that's our fun part, right? But when you look at what has happened the last two years and now, you know, we've got war going on and it's just this heaviness and these, all this news and then fires and earthquakes and um, so many things and people hurting and we're more aware of it now than ever before. What I'm finding is that it's not enough to just be the health detective. We actually have to show up as practitioners in a different way to get the extraordinary results we want for our patients. We have to talk to them in a different way. We have to guide them and coach them in a different way. In fact, I know a lot of you, you know, some of my emergency room physicians and some of my nurse practitioners and things like that, um, you know, coach was a concept you never even thought of. It's like, what are you talking about? Just, you know, diagnosis and treatment. And then when you step into functional medicine, it's this broad view and let's look at the whole body and where did it come from? What do we have to do to move forward? But you might, not still think like I need to be coaching or, or maybe I'll hire a coach like in our clinic body of the clinic we have coaches um, but still you have to show up as a coach with your patients and with your team and how you have your offers and your services uh, we are right in the midst of changing from some systems we've used for years into a more concentrated four-month membership program largely because I need to show up in a different way for these patients to get them to you know move with speed and focus and intention to get extraordinary results so that's one part um, very important for your patients however you're gonna do it and, and if you need help like reach out I, I help people with this all the time but we need to be doing things differently um, your self-care as a practitioner is gonna have to hit a new level especially if it slipped, like I know I'm not alone, right? Pajama days or, you know, too much DoorDash or whatever it was, uh, or not moving enough or overworking, or maybe you, you know, you took your in-person clinic to virtual and exploded in your house, or um, maybe you're doing telemedicine for the first time and you're dealing with technology or hiring your team for the first time. Whatever it is, you, you have a challenge. You've had some challenges and you may have slipped in an area. Maybe it wasn't self-care, maybe it was your relationship, or maybe it was follow-up with patients. You know, whatever it is, don't beat yourself up. We're all there. But the call now is that we have to step up in a more extraordinary way. And we're not out of the tough times. That's the hard part. So I don't want to be the bearer of bad news because there's enough headlines out there and we have to like, li we need to be aware of what's going on, but we have to limit our exposure to those headlines. But I want you to be prepared. The, the quote that one of my mentors said that I loved was, if you weren't very disciplined in the calm, it's going to be really hard to be disciplined in the chaos. And it's like, oh, that was another one. Don't become your patient, right? And also, um, you know, respond to what's going on versus reacting. We all hear it, but we all have that like knee jerk reaction, right? So we have to really check ourselves because as practitioners, you're in a leadership role and we have to step up in that way. And then just to talk about what's going on right now, you know, rising costs, stress, 
mental health issues, you know, war, headlines, heaviness. Your patients are definitely feeling it. You might feel it um, yourself also. But what's your plan going to be for handling this? So professionally, personally, with your patients, in your practice. We need a plan. So I'm going to just take some um, live Q&A. No opt-in required. And just do that tomorrow. I think it's at uh, 4.30 Pacific time, which would be 7.30 uh, East Coast time. And just bring it. Any question. We'll, we'll talk about what's going on right now. We'll talk about you know, what's going on in your business. It can be a very highly specific question. And I'm happy to show up for you in that way. So let's gather and talk about what we need to do to be able to support our patients, grow our practice, take care of ourselves, be aware and conscious of the times, and still be that leader and thrive. All right, Dr. Z here, and the link will be in the comments. If you have any questions, you can email us, team at the functionalmedicineacademy.com. Otherwise, no opt-in, just show up tomorrow, March 17th, and we're gonna do some live Q&A. All right, I'll see you then. Bye.